Al Michaels apologizes for Harvey Weinstein joke on Sunday Night Football. Al Michaels apologized during NBC's Sunday Night Football after making a joke about Harvey Weinstein earlier in the telecast. The veteran announcer said that he regretted being a little flip in comparing the New York Giants' recent struggles to the movie producer's experience of having accusations of sexual assault and harassment lodged against him. During the third quarter of Sunday's game in Denver, Michaels was talking with analyst Chris Collinsworth about the travails of the then winless Giants, which reached a low point last Sunday when the team lost three wide receivers, including stars Odell Beckham Jr. and Brandon Marshall to season-ending injuries, and another, Sterling Shepard suffering a severe ankle injury. I mean, let's face it, Michaels said, the Giants are coming off a worse week than Harvey Weinstein. Collinsworth guffawed and said, only my LA guy comes up with that one. Michaels replied with a chuckle, all you have to do is read the paper, any paper. Bowernstein 33, Al Michaels makes Harvey Weinstein joke NBC Sunday Night Football. New York G. T. Co. Weblink Pick. Twitter. Com Weblink. Fan Sports Clips, at Fan Sports Clips, October 16, 2017. Later in the game, following a commercial break, Michaels told his TV audience, Sorry I made a reference earlier, I was trying to be a little flip about somebody obviously very much in the news all over the country, and it was not meant in that manner. So, my apologies. And, um, we'll just leave it at that. Collinsworth agreed that it was best to move on. It may have been suggested to Michaels that he offer an apology by a producer who noted the negative reaction online. It wasn't just that the announcer was making light of numerous accusations against Weinstein, which go back over 30 years and include allegations of rape, but that he seemed to be minimizing the suffering of the women involved by citing Weinstein as going through a notably rough period. I truly cannot believe that on hash and fub call Michaels just said that Giants had a worse week than Harvey Weinstein. Not funny, just offensive. Lori Rubinson, at L. Rubinson, October 16, 2017 Al Michaels the Giants had a worse week than Harvey Weinstein must be funny unless you have actually been a victim of assault. At Snfubk. Lisa Guerrero, at 4 Lisa Guerrero, October 16, 2017. Al Michaels is probably the best play-by-play -play guy in history. But boy. That was a big, big lapse in judgment. Doug Ferrer, at BR underscore Doug Ferrer, October 16, 2017. Al Michaels is what happens when you surround yourself with people that routinely laugh at your bad jokes. Hash SNF. Robert Flores, at Row Flow, October 16, 2017. The 72 year old Michaels has been the voice of SNF since 2006, having done play by play for Monday Night Football for 20 years before that and announcing numerous Super Bowls, World Series, Olympic Games, and other major events. Arguably the foremost TV announcer of his era, Michaels first achieved national prominence for his Do You Believe in Miracles? call as the U.S. men's hockey team upset Russia at the 1980 Winter Olympics. Last week, shortly after the Weinstein scandal began unfolding, another NBC show, Saturday Night Live, took some criticism from conservatives and others that it appeared to be staying away from jokes about the major Democratic Party donor. This week's episode of SNL featured plenty of humor at his expense, including this line by Week and Update co-host Michael Che, Weinstein told reporters that we all make mistakes, but you assaulted dozens of women. That's not a mistake, that's a full season of Law and Order. Earlier on Sunday, CBS Late Night host James Corden apologized for making Weinstein jokes at a black tie charity event in Los Angeles Friday. After being criticized by actresses who have accused Weinstein of rape, including Rose McGowan and Asia Argento, Corden said on Twitter, To be clear, sexual assault is no laughing matter. I was not trying to make light of Harvey's inexcusable behavior, but to shame him, the abuser, not his victims. I am truly sorry for anyone offended, that was never my intention. Read more. Violence. Threats. Begging. Harvey Weinstein's 30-year patterns of abuse in Hollywood. 
Colin Kaepernick files grievance accusing NFL teams of colluding against him. As NFL owners wrestle with national anthem demonstrations, protests continue Sunday. The Ryan Fitzpatrick curse claims James Winston as its latest victim. Adrian Peterson stars in Cardinals' debut, The Opportunity I've 